So this is my high, small Labette Drimba. I haven't really played it in a while. It's always been kind of a lackluster sound, especially compared to the other one that I have, which is lower tone, and it has quite a good draw start on it. Start on it. It's very breathy, but I was noticing it's because that this one, the tongue is just a bit ahead of the frame in the wrong direction. So what I'm gonna try and do is my work man is just right down there. And I have a vise in there. And I'm gonna put this in there and I'm gonna see if I can actually get this to sound a little bit better than this. It still sounds pretty good. kill the sustain on it so I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit more breath out of this so I don't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing um, I've got my harp here in my vice in my very clustered work van and I don't recommend doing this unless you know what you're doing because you don't want to scratch up your harp and I don't have these are my actual pliers for work they're not meant for harp making but they've got grooves that'll work if I'm careful. And I've used this rag to protect the harp from the teeth on my vise. So let's just see how this works out. I might have to put the phone down and stop filming too. We'll see. Uh, okay. Whoops. Hold on a sec here. There, how's that? All right. So all I'm gonna do, and I, I'm not gonna move the frame side to side or anything like that. I don't want to do anything to the gaps. I just want to move the arms towards me a bit so they're more in line with the way the reed is naturally wanting to sit. So I'm going to put the notches of my pliers right on the very edge. Just pull it back a bit. And do the same to the other side here. Try to be really careful. I don't, whoops, I don't want to scratch it. Okay, I think it went a little bit more on that one than this side. Let's go a little more here. And let's, let's look, let's see. Let's see how this turned out. went a little far on the one arm. I don't have the best light in here either. Yeah, I'm going to go back just a little bit more on this one. But I don't want to go too crazy. This isn't my harp. This is somebody else's harp. And I don't really want to make too many adjustments. But at the same time, I almost feel like this is a repair at this point. So... That's more like it. Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll get a better, better shot on this on the in the hotel room again. All right. Cool. Okay, I made my adjustment. Swung by Timmy's, we are ready to see how this sounds. But as you can see, if it focuses, the alignment with the decks and the point of the inner decks is much better than it was before. Because it was before in the direction of my fingers pointing up. Now it's back a little bit towards the direction of the trigger. So out this way now. Bringing it more in line. So let's get a little bit of an ear on it to see how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 
Didn't greatly ch change the sound of it, but it definitely rings longer. The sustain is a bit better, and I can already feel the play is a bit better, a better, <laughs> and uh, a little bit more breathy. I can, uh, I can, I can already tell. I can feel it. So. really fell into it uh, towards the end there that's for sure uh, I did notice that it took a little bit of adjustment to play uh, as far as how I'm used to playing it's weird the um, <clears throat> the action of it was just slightly ahead it seemed um, or I was, I was now I don't know it uh, it took a little bit of getting used to and I think you could probably hear me my timing got better as that went on but uh, it definitely started to feel good so I think I'm gonna have fun playing around with this a lot of times all it takes is just a little adjustment on a harp and it feels like a new one and it can be a whole new experience and a whole new thing to discover so <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,